Paulo Dybala is one of the most exciting players in the world of football right now, uh, turning in scintillating performances on a weekly basis that has drawn comparisons with compatriot Lionel Messi. Although he isn't at that level just yet, it isn't so surprising that these comparisons have been made. One of the reasons for it is how effective Dybala dribbles the ball, which is very similar to Messi's style. This is what we'll be taking a look at today. First, let's take a look at the way Dybala dribbles the ball when he finds himself in limited space. It's almost identical to the way Messi dribbles the ball in these situations. He keeps the ball in close control almost at all times, and he uses his body to protect the ball. Because of this, defenders struggle to get a tackle in. Dybala has it so close to him, and it has such good control over it, that if a defender goes in for it, he can just take it away quickly or use his body to protect it. He will also use skill in order to maintain the ball when he is surrounded, and you will find that more often than not, he is able to escape from situations very few other players would be able to escape from. Next, like Messi, Dybala uses quick cuts and turns to maintain the ball, but also beat players one-on-one. -on -one. This is important because it shows that if you can do this quickly, throw in a few feints, and keep the ball in control, you do not need fancy skills in order to beat players. He will wait until opponents dive in and just take it away from them or use a very effective body feint in order to off-balance the defender. Here are a few examples of him doing this. Now, if you want to dribble more like Dybala, you also have to recognize that there is an element of risk involved. Anytime you take a player on or run at the defense, you risk losing the ball and giving up possession. However, the reward is usually more than worth it. That being said, you do need to learn to take calculated risks and not go in every single time. This is something that Dybala does. He won't go for the dribble every single time, he instead will pick his moment. Because of this, he remains unpredictable. You never know if he's going to just pass it off, or quickly cut and introduce a turn of pace into the play. This is actually a component of any good dribbler's game. They know when to take risks and when to maintain possession. They are aware that if they do the same thing over and over again each time, they become predictable and much easier to defend. Finally, Dybala has fantastic agility and balance. This is of course something that takes time to develop and is helped by the fact that he's actually a smaller player and has a lower center of gravity. Still, even if you are a taller player, you can still improve your agility and balance with certain drills. I recently gave you a speed training routine that you can do in order to improve this area. I will have that come across now and also put it in the description so you can take a look after this video. With better agility, you'll be able to cut, turn faster, among other things. 
and better balance will ensure that you don't get knocked off the ball or lose your footing as you do so. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick Paulo Dybala breakdown as we took a look at his dribbling ability. Be sure to vote for the next player you want me to cover by hitting the bar that comes across screen right now or clicking the eye icon that is in the upper right hand corner. Remember, this video is the only place where you can vote for the next player. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed this. I will also put two other videos from this player analysis series up on the screen now so you can continue to learn from the best players in the world. Thank you once again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.